is Farah Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. I'm sharing with you again a post by Brother John Fisher Helms, uh, a Benedictine brother on his Facebook page. He wrote that the devil appeared to three monks and said to them, if I gave them power to change something of the past, what would they change? The first of them, with great apostolic fervor, answered, I would prevent you from causing Adam and Eve to fall into sin so that mankind would not turn away from God. The second, a man full of mercy, said to him, I would keep you from turning away from God and condemning yourself forever. The third of them was the simplest, and instead of answering the tempter, he got down on his knees, made a sign of the cross, and prayed, Lord, deliver me from the temptation of what might have been and was not. The devil, yelling and twitching in pain, vanished. The other two, shocked, said, Brother, why did you react like that? He answered them, First, we must never dialogue with the enemy. Second, no one in the world has the power to change the past. Third, Satan's interest was not to test our virtue, but to get caught in the past so that we neglect the, free, the present. The only time when, he, when God gives us His grace and we can cooperate with it to do His will. Of all the devils, the one that catches men the most and keeps them from being happy is the one of what could have been and it wasn't. The past is at the mercy of God and the future at His providence. But the present is in His love. Live today loving God with all the strength of your heart and who God has given you. And when I read this, uh, I really get convicted because sometimes um, I would dwell in the past, especially of my past mistakes, the people that I've hurt, and I would just be swallowing with guilt uh, and shame. And because of that, I don't stay in the present. And sometimes also, uh, I worry about the future and I would have the tendency to catastrophize. That's why I would live in fear. And what I think the Lord is telling me is that just stay in the present moment, practice His presence in my life, and do the best that I can to obey His will and leave the rest to God. For those of you who could relate with me, would easily dwell in the past or in the future, let's all stay in the present moment. God bless. Living saying, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.